place in Thailand here. Today's video is about my keto diet. Yeah, here we go. This is week one of my keto diet. For those people who are interested in my keto journey, here we are, June the 1st, 2021, and I'm gonna start my keto diet today. For those people who are interested in following me along my diet and maybe doing the keto diet as well, I'll do week by week breakdowns of what I've eaten, how much I've lost, how much I haven't lost, how I felt, how I'm feeling, and just generally how I'm going along with my diet. Now, if you haven't seen my other keto videos, it's all about why I chose keto. So if you have a look at that picture above, that was me at my heaviest, at 118 kilos. And now my start weight is just over 106 kilos. And this is where I'm going to be losing another 10 kilos. I know the keto diet works. I've gone from 118 down to 106. And I went down to 104, but I'll put a couple of kilos back. So I can vouch for the keto diet. It does work. It's not easy, but once you get into the keto diet, then you don't feel hungry at all. It really is a, a, a diet worth sticking to, but it's gonna be hard like every diet in that first two weeks. And I'm gonna go through the feelings of the keto flu, the feelings that you get of your hunger and how you can satisfy that, your dizzy spells and one thing or another. For those people who are researching the keto diet, there are many, many, hundreds and hundreds of videos on the keto diet. So why watch me It's because I am 106 kilos and you can see me losing weight every week on the keto diet. I'm going to describe what I've eaten, what I've done during the week and just follow me then you'll see it week by week. Now there aren't so many videos on people losing weight week by week but there are plenty of fit people, skinny people that are doing the keto diet who are telling you all about it but actually haven't done the keto diet because they haven't lost any weight they're just good at keto and keto is very in at the minute as far as dieting for people is concerned anyway moving on from that so what can i offer you this week from my keto well as you can see from the video there that's my starting weight over 106 kilos so that's my starting weight as from june the 1st 2021 and what i'm going to do i'm going to give you some some documents and, and i'll put a a picture of it up here so you can freeze frame and you can copy it or you can do whatever you want to do and the meals i'm going to eat this week and, and I've, I've put some pictures up of the meals that i've already done because it's sort of a practice to get some meals ready to start from this week so that leads me on to before i show you the menus that i'm, I'm going to do you're going to have to start with a shopping list and i'll put a shopping list up there and these are the sort of basic things that you need to, to start your diet. It's no good starting from the starting blocks. It's best if you have a, the, the pantry stuff, the spices, the oils and the herbs and things like that. And then you can go from there. If you're going to stick to the keto diet, you're going to have to stick to the keto diet. It's not one of them diets where you can go on and then you can say, oh, I'll have two or three days on it and then I'll have a day off it. Because the danger is with the keto diet, because you're eating a lot of fat. A lot of fat is a lot of calories. So there's a girl that I know, she did keto for two or three days, then came off it and a month later she'd actually put weight on. And she was so disappointed. So when I asked her the question, why do you think you put weight on? It's because she said, I never stuck to the keto diet. I was on it and off it. Coming off the keto diet and eating carbs, can actually knock you out of ketosis for two or three days so that's two or three days you going back onto the keto diet you're not going to lose any weight keto diet if you like your your meats and your vegetables and your salads you'll do very well on the keto diet it's, it's an easy diet to stick to and you do feel full after you've got over the initial period of going onto the diet and i'll go through that week by week so first of all here's the the shopping list just freeze the video if you want and then you can go through the shopping list what i'll do I'll, I'll put these the recipes right at the end of the video and then you can do a screen capture of it and that'll tell you exactly what the shopping list is and how to cook the meals that i'm going to be recommending so see the picture there the, this first one is a creamy meatballs recipe with fried cabbage now this tasted lovely if if you like ikea meatballs it the, the sauce that it goes with is just like the ikea meatballs i loved it and the recipes i'm going to give you also 
it serves between two and four people. So basically you cook it up for two people and you have one one day and you have another another day. So why cook singly when you can do twice as much or four times as much and then divide it over a four day period. Now I'm gonna have a main meal, such as this with the creamy meatballs recipe with fried cabbage. I will have that as an evening meal about five o'clock because that contains the most fat and it's the fat that stops you from make, from feeling hungry. So for my lunch, I'm just gonna have tuna salad, ham salad, chicken salad, stuff like that with mayo. When you're enthusiastic in the first week that you're gonna be starting this, eat the salads, get fat through your salads with cheese and olives and olive oil and stuff like that. It, get started on eating the fat. Now I'm not gonna have any breakfasts at all because I've never really been a breakfast person. So I'm actually gonna do two meals a day and then it's what's called intermittent fasting. So from six o'clock in the evening until 12 o'clock the following day, I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm just gonna drink water or soda. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now I'm going straight onto the fasting side of it because I know that works. It really, really does work. It gives you a fat burning, a, a great big boost because your body changes from your carbohydrates to eating your fat. Just imagine that your body is a, like a car engine. You don't exactly know how it works, but if you put fuel into it, you get from A to B. But all we're doing is changing the fuel. You're still getting from A to B. If we look at this as your body being a fridge freezer, in the fridge part of it is where you eat all your carbohydrates and your liver reproduces the food that you take, the carbohydrate through insulin into sugar. And it only stores so much. And if it's excess storage, then that goes into your freezer department, which is the fat. Now the freezer department sort of never stops filling up. That's why people get fat. The freezer just expands and expands and expands. So you having too many carbohydrates anything more than your body doesn't need your body stores it as fat so your body will always use the carbohydrates first before using the fat so the glucose that's in your body system your body's going to get rid of all of that first and then it'll resort to eating the fat now that's going to take a transition period of a few days or maybe it's a week or two weeks and one that i haven't done yet as we're living in thailand a thai pad thai Again, that serves four people, so just divide that up to four portions. And th this is sort of the first seven days. All of these meals will, you'll be able to do in the first seven days. I'm not gonna tell you how to make tuna salad. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence how to make a ham salad. So, but these, I'll give you the instructions and the cooking instructions on how to do them. And uh, another one that you could do, because if, if you're making the meatballs, it's sort of not, to dissimilar recipe is the meatballs with bok choy. Again, that's another nice, nice one to do. So th they're the recipes that I'm going to give you. So th they'll be at the end of the video. Uh, so freeze frame and then take a picture capture of it. And it gives you the ingredients. It gives you how to cook it. And it gives you the calories, the fat, the total carbs, the fiber, sugar, net carbs and protein. So don't worry about the carbs, don't worry about the protein, don't worry about the calories, just get started with your keto diet. And if you're gonna have a breakfast in the morning, have eggs or something like that. Um, there are plenty of egg recipes or breakfast recipes for keto diet. I'm not concentrating on the breakfast because I've never been a breakfast person, so it doesn't bother me not eating breakfast. But for those people who want three meals a day, Within two or three weeks, you won't want three meals a day. And it's my intentions within a month, I'll be just eating one meal a day because you, you do feel full on the keto diet. And I'll keep saying it and you'll hear about it many, many times, but you do feel full on the keto diet. You don't feel hungry at all. And by doing the intermittent fasting, that helps you lose the weight very, very quickly also. So if you've got any questions that you want answering, leave a comment below and I'll answer for what I can. I hope you join me on the keto journey for losing weight. The goal is to go down to 95 kilos. So that's 11, about 11 and a half kilos I've got to lose to get down to 95. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. 
subscribe to my channel would be very nice for you to do follow me along with my keto diet and next week I'll, I'll do some cookery videos and I'll show you how I prepared the meals so from Liz on the keto from fat to slim till the next time bye for now